Hello, Zebra Herd, and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. And today we're gonna be doing yet another top five video. Now, we haven't done one of these in a little while, but I'm gonna be trying my best to do them a lot more from here on out. Now, today we're gonna be doing the top five foot soldiers. As you can see, every single soldier is mastered. That means I've played them enough to give my thoughts on each one of them and tell you which ones are my top five. So if you don't know how this works, we're gonna be going and doing some Vanquish confirmed or Team Vanquish, probably Team Vanquish, and each round will be going down each soldier I like. So the first round of uh, Team Vanquish will be doing my fifth favorite soldier, then my fourth fourth, third, second, and first. So you get the idea. Of course, be sure to let me know what your top five soldiers are and do remember that this is just my opinion and if you disagree, feel free to let me know. But with that being said, let us go ahead and get started. So my fifth favorite soldier is going to be the Sky Trooper. Now, a lot of people really like the Sky Trooper. He definitely is a very good soldier. He's not always my favorite, but the thing with the Sky Trooper is that he has a wickedly fast firing. And if that's something you're into, it definitely can be super duper helpful. It is very easy to miss with him. I have found the recoil on him is a little bit crazy, but with enough practice, you can be very, very good with him. I mean, the soldier is my favorite zombie variant. It's so it's hard for me to choose one over the other a lot of the times. I just love so many different soldiers, but I feel like we're already doing pretty well with this. He has a really fast, effective fire rate, and if, as long as you can keep some good aim, keep a good head on your shoulders, uh, you won't miss like I do all the time. And because of that, he's really hard to keep up with, but we'll take a look at his uh, character upgrades the next time I get taken out, because I forgot to do that. Once again, it's been my first top five in a while, so I might be a little rusty with doing this kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, as long as you stay ahead of it, try to get some good aim, you'll be fine. Definitely having ammo upgrades with something like this can be super duper helpful. But overall, I really don't have any complaints with this character. Why is it worse than the others? It's simply just because of my own personal preference. A lot of soldiers are really, really solid, so it's really hard to say that this one's inferior to other soldiers, just because they're all great. Most of them are, at the least. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a top five worst soldiers, or top three worst soldiers, because there's only a couple I can name I'm not a big fan of. But uh, overall, though, most of these soldiers are on average very, very solid usable classes, and the Sky Trooper's one of them. And on top of that, he looks cool. Obviously, he's supposed to be um, some kind of uh, pilot, I guess you could say. Uh, he has this cool helmet, he has this very cool we looking weapon. When it comes to if it was all the, you know, a fashion contest, he would definitely be even higher up the list because he just looks super awesome. Anyways, there are too many pea shooters for my liking. Uh, my camera's getting stuck because this uh, imp doesn't like me. <laughs> there were two pile on him, so I guess they're gonna do their thing. But yeah, this is a really great class. I think that he was one of the best in Garden Warfare 1. He uh, has a bit more to compete with here in Garden Warfare 2, and I feel like that does push him a tiny bit more down the list. But in general, when it comes to just going against plants, he definitely is a little less effective, I feel like, in Garden Warfare 2 than he is Garden Warfare 1. But I also just think that uh, that was almost most of the zombies. A lot of zombies were very powerful in Garden Warfare 1. It was hard sometimes for the plants to keep up, except for you know very specific variants. This guy's not paying attention to me because he's trying to revive his Colonel Corn friend. I can't blame him, but I will take him out for it. And I wasn't looking at the chopper, so it all just ends up being the same, right? I mean, luckily I'm, I'm taking out more people than I'm getting taken out. So like I'm getting more vanquishes than I'm getting vanquished. That's what I should say. Okay, let's try to, oh gosh, watch out, watch out. What is he doing? Oh, he hid down there? I've never seen him do that. Or any player do that, that was cool. Let's go ahead and try to stop him if I can. The chompers being mean to our mech. Friend, I don't appreciate it. Everybody's beating me up now. Problems, problems. Try to get you a little bit. But all they have to do is peek out for a second and we can do a ton of damage to him. That sort of something is that you can really punish the plant player for overstepping if you can just keep those decent headshots going on. Oh, I got you, that was great. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay, come on, come on. I also forgot to check my character upgrades. I knew I was gonna do that, I always do. Vanquish me, see what happens, see what happens. I'll come back even stronger, potentially. There it is. That chomper was just chilling there. I guess he was reviving somebody. Who is winning right now? I am too busy to know. We gotta go ahead and do character upgrade. So, we already have the ammo damage and health. I don't think the health is entirely necessary, especially when you could have a reload upgrade for him. Zoom upgrade's not also very necessary. So yeah, I definitely think that's sort of the good trifecta. If you're vanquishing enough, there might not be too many people around to hit you to take you out. So, yeah. So far, so good. We only have like one or two more vanquishes to get, I believe. Come on, yeah, we got it. I think we got the last one. So that's very, very cool. I have a whole family of imps with me. My top five soldiers, number five is the Sky Trooper. Coming in at number four out of my top five soldiers has to be the Park Ranger. 
The park ranger is a very interesting character, of course, very comparable to the alien flower. He shoots out his primary weapon and it creates a bunch of stink clouds. Because of that, I think he has slightly less damage, but he's also a very cool looking character. New to Garden Warfare 2, he was not in Garden Warfare 1. And he can be pretty effective, especially against some characters where maybe they're not as mobile. They can't sort of shimmy away as quickly. You definitely wanna shoot that like that, because obviously, as you can see, that two damage is stacking over and over again. It's not quite a poison character but it does leave a poisonous gas. So it doesn't have the normal poison variant thing that most people expect when they see this character for the first time. Oh my, oh my, hop out of here, no, not quite. Um, the lack of damage makes him slightly less effective, I think. That's sort of the thing is he does about the same amount of damage as a Sky Trooper for just about half the fire rate, which can make it a little bit difficult for sure. But like I said, if you're using him in the right situations, especially situations where plants might bunch up a bit, he can be very effective and he's by, no means a bad soldier. He can keep up pretty darn well. It just takes some accuracy. And beyond that, the fire rate is still great, don't get me wrong, but compared to the Sky Trooper, ooh, not as much. But I think overall, he's still a little more effective than the Sky Trooper, just because of that cloud effect. And I think that sometimes, if you are slightly less accurate, oh wow, my ZPG didn't do anything there. Okay, just gotta run, just gotta run, goodbye. <laughs> I think that if you were slightly less accurate, like I can be sometimes, this can be better. Can you stop it? Thank you, that actually did damage. That's good. I got the assist though, that's it. What happened to that cactus? Is that, is that cactus still around? I don't think so. Hmm. I also think that it's a little easier long distance. I feel like that's the biggest drawback to the Sky Trooper, is that long distance can be a little bit difficult to hit those targets especially you know, if they're just peeking their head over a corner every once in a while. But with this, even if you land one or two shots, it can really make it effective because those little areas that they might be camping in are now covered in deadly gas. That might only last for a couple of moments, but it'll you know, peck them down more and more until you've taken them out. Okay, come on, get you, get you, get you. And of course, the closer we are, the more damage we do, which is useful. Come on, get you, good. Don't feel like I'm playing as well as I was last round, so that's gonna make my decision making of this one being over Sky Trooper look silly, but sometimes that's just what happens. All right, let's get up here. This Chomper's just gonna chill out. All right, well, you keep chilling then. See what happens. Like, I know where you are. Or maybe not. Maybe he got vanquished. He respawned then. Okay. That was a little odd. Or maybe he was still there. Huh, what do you know? Nobody cared. <laughs> I mean, what could I have done about it, right? He was chilling in a spot. I really couldn't do anything about it, so. So we could try to get you guys a little bit like I'm making that cloud and it's helping us hit you know places that uh, we normally kill not Splash damage on the soldier isn't super common and usually the soldiers that have it, I'm not a big fan of. So yeah, there we go. Come on, keep getting it, keep getting it. All right, got it a little bit. Let's try to, ah, oh, not quite, not quite. Ooh, now the, look at this. I'm, I'm able to hit the one piece shooter but still damage the Colonel Corn a fair amount which is really, really nice. If I get taken out here, I definitely wanna to try to respawn to make sure I have all my character upgrades because I think there's actually one that'll make the gas even worse. So definitely, of course, the characters get even more prominent with the upgrades. And that is something that I consider when I do these top fives is not just how they are when you unlock the character, but when you master them, are those upgrades gonna make those characters super crazy? Because there are some variants in this game that the upgrades don't do too much or do anything really game changing, but there's others where it's just, it's just insane. You know, it just makes the character multiple times better. Okay, so a lot of these plants just don't care about me right now, which I'll gladly take advantage of. Now let's go ahead and ZPG right here. Oh gosh, they figured me out. They figured me out. He's coming for me. Gotta be careful. All right, where is his friends? Try to damage his friends a little bit. Get this kernel corn. Or maybe just go back to this dude. I don't reload. And the ammo is really nice for this one, for the uh, fire rate, I would, th I would say. Like I don't feel like I'm constantly running out of ammo when I really, really need it. At least not as often. Come on, are you gonna pop around the corner or not? I guess not. Jeez, <laughs> we were doing good if we were getting about which is a little bit there, and then I just all slowed down really quick. Okay, let's try to get you. And of course, a lot of these soldiers I haven't played in a really long time, because I mastered them a long time ago because of how much I enjoyed them, so some things might be a little bit different, but we're gonna move this way. Hmm. And of course, a lot of this has to do with personal preference, uh, my top fives, but I think everybody's top five does. And that's why I definitely wanna hear your suggestions. I think that what makes a good or not so good chom or not chomper, <laughs> soldier changes in a lot of people's eyes. A lot of people like soldiers that I just don't really enjoy too much. So that's why I wanna hear your opinions. And of course, why? Don't just tell me what you like, but why you like it. Because then maybe I'll see your side and be able to like, you know what, maybe that is better than I thought it was. I just have to try it a different way. Ooh. Well, you didn't really go the way I thought you were gonna go. Let's hop out of here. 
or a little bit. <laughs> Not really hopping out of the situation, sort of hopped a little more into it, especially since they chased me. There, the reload was a little slow, but I'm not always gonna have all the ammo I need. Okay, so yeah, the it looks like the damage radius upgrade, let's go ahead, why do I keep putting health upgrades? I mean, very previous point in time zebra. Maybe I just didn't apply the newer upgrades, it was really just the first upgrades I got. The, the zoom upgrade isn't as good as the reload upgrade. I think those three things will probably be really effective. Of course, the smoke cloud is the biggest thing. I must have done that like way back when I was really new at the game because I think the Camp Ranger was one of the first characters I mastered. But yeah, it is very, very huge load off my shoulders to, uh, oh boy, to um get all the soldiers mastered. Some of these soldiers are really tough. <laughs> Unfortunately, some of the soldiers that were really tough won't even be in this top five but I sort of stick to that. I try to make sure that every character we mastered, or every I mean, every class we do a top five on, I think it's only fair that I master each one of them because that way I have enough experience with them to say whether they're good or bad. If I just never play that character and say they're bad, then is it really true? Probably not, I don't know. You know, I couldn't really say that for a fact. Anyways, this is definitely a slower round, even though we have the smaller team, we're still sort of competing and winning. All right, 40's not 50. I know I'm working on a zombie boss. We have less zombies in our plants. Maybe you should have done better organizing. Also, let's explode that before that becomes an issue. There's a pea shooter and a whole bunch of people over here. Let's go ahead and try to get you. But yeah, now that this uh, gas is larger, it's gonna make it even more difficult for the uh, plants to escape it, especially if they're low on mobility. Uh, that was a little off, wasn't it? I know that soldier's around. I pressed the rocket jump button, but apparently not too soon. Or not soon enough. You know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, the Camp Ranger is pretty great. I really enjoy him. I love his design, all the furry creatures he has around him. He has a little barbecue on his back. He looks like a lot of fun. He's very colorful, and that's sort of something I appreciate about some of these classes. Some of them are a little bland. Some of them are a lot more fun to look at. And of course, customizations help with that a lot. But on their own, sometimes how they look is important. Okay, you should be getting taken out soon. That, that gas is doing some good work. All right, so I know he's doing his chomper thing up there. I don't appreciate it. Jump, or not jump, rocket, you know, whatever. <laughs> we didn't get him, really? <laughs> he's nodding his head, nope, not happening, not happening. Ah, oh, what a stinker. Okay, so our number four out of the top five soldiers is the Camp Ranger. And my number three soldier is the Camel Ranger, a Gardevoir for one, beloved classic soldier variant. He is very sniper-like and it's a lot of fun. I think he was slightly more effective in Gardevoir for one than he was Gardevoir for two, to be honest with you. Um, especially with some of the beefier plants, you know, the uh, Citrons come to mind specifically. But he is still very effective, being able to have that long-range sniping experience with somebody who's a lot more mobile then a Captain Deadbeard is a lot of fun, and you don't really get that too much with any other character. So it's a lot of fun, and it's really enjoyable. I totally missed that CPG, but I tried my best. Um, but yeah, I really like it, because once again, we can hop around, we can jump around just like a soldier can, use that CPG, but more importantly, we have the sniping ability as well. It's just sort of a really nice little combination. Obviously made a lot more sense to go to War for one when there was no sniping equivalent and this was just like the best you got if you wanted to snipe on the zombie team. But 18 damage a shot, as long as you're accurate and you aren't awful at the game like me. I hate that guy for a lot of 18 damage over and over again, but he was also, ah, oh, 1% health. I was gonna say, it was very bizarre that he, he didn't get taken out there. I'm not very good at the Camel Ranger right now. I'm only sometimes good at the Camel Ranger, to be honest with you, but I do enjoy it, which is the most important thing. Not only that, but he sort of made a little more sense in Garden War for one, when most of the maps were very green and lush. That's why he has the green outfit. It actually does make him harder to see in those maps. But here, where most of the maps are purple, he sort of sticks out. All right, I'm trying to get you. I ain't quite working. Uh, Somebody will get him, right? Yep, okay, I got the assist. I don't really care too much for playing perfectly or getting a bunch of experience because of course these characters are all mastered, but uh, there's a battle happening way on the other side of here and I can still contribute, land some damage over there. Not a ton, not a ton, because my aim is off, but I have to go ahead and check to see what character upgrades I might have messed up on this guy because I probably did mess up something. Ooh, can we get you a little bit? Sunflower, nope, not working. Let's try from over here. So yeah, while I may be very bad at this variant, oh my gosh, I'm very bad at everything, but very bad at this variant. Oh, please. I, I, I repeat my previous statement. <laughs> I definitely dived into a situation 
where I should have had more teammates on my side. I need to stay farther away. I'm definitely getting a little more used to playing all the other soldiers. Jumping from soldier to soldier is not something that I recommend because it gets you a little confused on how you should be playing and your instincts are all messed up. But I still really enjoy this guy. He's a different experience for a sniper and that alone makes him really, really fun. You aren't hitting me with those. Yeah, I thought so. So I really like him just for that. He mixes up the game in a fun way. Definitely there'd sort of be a type of play style gone without the Camel Ranger. He brings something unique to the table, which sometimes some variants don't really, you know? It's just like, oh, this is that variant, but just, you know, it has fire now, you know? <laughs> but uh, this one's definitely different and I like it a lot for it. Oh, hello, Sunflower. I know you tried to block off that dude's uh, ultra blast, super ultra ball. Oh no, I'm done for. What, are we still outnumbered? Because I've seen a whole lot more plants than I'm seeing zombies, and I'm looking out for those zombies. Uh, no, we have the larger team. Okay, somehow, some way, we're actually winning this right now. It's 21 to 27, and I want to keep that up. These soldiers are, are not soldiers. I can't get any words right. The chompers are ruthless today. They are everywhere. Thought that maybe their plant would be a little closer. Not the case. You know what? I'm gonna leave. This is definitely not the best map for Camel Ranger. Honestly, I do suggest a Camel Ranger would probably be better on a turf takeover map, something that's a lot long, larger, has a little bit more room to work with than I would uh, Team Vanquish, but obviously I don't have all the time in the world to do five turf takeovers in a row, you know? Usually these are a consistent amount of length, so I'll have a, about the same amount of time for each variant as well, so that makes it better too. Can you stop it? No, you won't ever stop it. Come on, let me go, let me go, let me go. Ooh. Wait, I wait, it says I have one of them. Now I have one of them. It was just lying to me before. Thanks, game. Well, I'm probably gonna get taken out here. So while I may not be very good at the Cowboy Ranger at this moment, I do assure you that it is a fantastic class. Oh boy. And being able to have distance, very effective distance a lot of the time with a soldier is great because some soldiers do have some good, you know, mid to long range, but it's not as strong as the Cavalry Rangers. Of course, his close range ever so slightly suffers, but that's the great thing about a soldier is he can run away. He can use his rocket jump. If things get too close and he's good enough with aiming, he can use, I keep going in a rocket jump, but I guess it is a rocket jump. Um, he can use his ZPG, he can use the smoke clot to confuse the enemy. He has a lot of options for that situation. He doesn't have too many options for when things are just simply too far away and he's trying to shoot at them. All right, let's try to get this chomper if I can. What is going on? He was sort of glitching out there for a moment. It was weird looking. I'm trying to help this soldier friend. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Oh, hold on, hold on. Ugh. Oh, I missed. Oh, I'm the worst. Come on, come on, come on. Gotcha. That was good. But yeah, if you can really lay on the damage here, it's great. Come on, get you, get you, get you, get you, get you. Let me quickly respawn. I did not check my character upgrades because it's been so long. We're gonna find out together if I made a good choice. Okay, the penetration upgrade is great. The ammo's good, the zoom upgrade is probably unnecessary. A re reload upgrade might be a little bit better. But if you are in like a super large map, maybe the zoom upgrade would be a tiny bit better. I don't think it'll make too much of a difference. I've still been missing like crazy anyways, and we won't be able to experiment with it too much. Not that big of a change though. We won't change up too much. Uh, but yeah, it seems like we're running this one as well. I'm not getting the top vanquisher, <laughs> that's for sure. I think I got top vanquisher the first round, not the second. There's been a lot of good competition. We're playing against a lot of good players right now. Uh, oh, this pea shooter's mad at me. He's mad at me, all right. Uh, but this is a little too close. Come on, back it up, back it up. Okay, the, the, the super brains helped me out. He may have stolen my vanquish, but I won't blame it on him. It's up for grabs, right? But there we go, our number three out of the top five soldiers is the Camo Ranger. And our number two out of the top five soldiers will be the base foot soldier. You can't go wrong with this guy. He is so reliable. And what makes him a little bit better, in my opinion, is that reliability. You sort of always know what you're gonna get with him and he sort of, he's well balanced enough that he can handle almost all situations or at least be able to survive them or make anything work. If you're going against a team with a lot of chompers, if you're going against a team with a lot of cactuses, anything, you usually can do it. He has a perfect balance of a lot of damage, mid to long range use, and not a lot of recoil. Oh, <laughs> they bumped into each other, did you see that? <laughs> and that didn't get him. It said it did 250 damage. I guess it did it to the, the table and chairs over there. That was weird. That was so sort of cute. They just bumped in, they're like, oh, excuse me, sorry. Let's go ahead and get rid of those potato mines. Okay, but yeah, uh, 
base soldier is fantastic. I like his lack of recoil for the most part. He really does, I mean, I haven't been able to showcase it too much because of these maps that we're playing on, but he does do woodpecker damage really well, and what I mean by that is if there is an enemy that's really far away that uh, is only poking their head out, you could really quickly just boop, boop, boop a little bit at a time. That way, you're not messing up with recoil any amount that there is, which there really isn't any at all. And the damage is a little bit more than I think the Sky Trooper, which could be really helpful. And of course, you have the rest of the soldier kit. You know, you have your rocket jump, you have your ZPG, and you have your smoke. And that's sort of the thing, is that no matter what soldier you're playing, you can always do at least a little bit decent because you have a very fantastic kit. I mean, it can't really get you to more, th much more than like one or two vanquishes on its own, you know, in life before it has to all reload, but it can definitely be helpful. Right, is this person gonna revive me? Uh. No, they're not interested. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. But yeah, just because of that, you always know what you're gonna get, and it's usually like, oh, I don't know who to choose right now. The foot soldier is always a good choice. You just can't go wrong with it. And just because of that, it makes it a very solid variant. Oh boy, oh boy. And I love it a lot. It's definitely, out of all the base variants, one of the best, I would say. If not the best, I mean, eh, compared to the Colonel Corn, maybe not the best, but definitely very, very good. Hmm. Let's go ahead and try to get you. My aim is awful today, so even though I say it's reliable, I'm going to do bad, but I still definitely think that's the case. Uh, I think if some people would agree with me, sometimes base characters aren't really comparative to their you know, variant counterparts. And I'm sure we'll be talking about that more in the future as we do more top fives, but I think this is a bit of a different one. I think that the foot soldier, like all the other foot soldiers are different enough that the base foot soldier does stand apart pretty gosh darn well. Oh boy. Let's try to get you if we can, but no, nope, you're all running away, you cowards. Throw the smoke right there. It says it's doing damage to somebody. I don't know how much I want to believe that. Get the pea shooter. But getting a lot of these smaller characters usually is pretty easy. The zoom on this is pretty nice. There we go, we got you, and I got gone. But yeah, the zoom on the uh, main setup is pretty nice, but also let's check out our character upgrades since I've yet to do that. Because uh, I probably don't, didn't, oh actually, I mean we could fix the zoom. I don't think the zoom is most needed. Like we could get a reload upgrade, we could get a speed upgrade, but if you're really you know, looking for some extra range on it, it could work. There's nothing wrong with it. I know a lot of people get upset with me for adding health upgrades. Sometimes they're helpful, sometimes they're not really. It really depends, but some people are like, health upgrades are never helpful. I was like, that's a little much. I don't think that's the case. Let's go ahead and try to take care of Toxic Citron over here. Being able to lay on the damage on somebody like Toxic Citron is great. The fire rate is just where it should be. It's just such a good class. It's definitely on a Guard Over 1, it just destroys. You know? Back in Guard Over 1, it was fantastic. But of course, this is a Guard Over 2 top 5 video, so while I do make that comparison, wow, that was quite a go to fire right there. Good on you. Well, can we charge? We can! Charge again? Not needed. Ooh. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on. Help me. Where where do all that team those teammates go that she go to fight? Well, they're not here. <laughs> wow, that sort of stunk. That's fine, that's fine. You know, you can't survive forever in Team Vanquish. The whole point is to get vanquished. I mean, it's not the point, it's for me to get vanquished, but the point is for everybody else to try to vanquish me, so. It makes sense that inevitably, oh, hi, Chomper. Come on. <laughs> this is not working out so well. Oh, we got him, though. Thank you for the revenge. That's at least something. So it looks like the plants are almost winning this one. It's 42 to 39, getting close to the end of the game. Who is gonna become victorious? Oh my, oh my, stop. CPG, help me out, officer, you better not run away. You better not, wait, now you can't. Now you can't, oh, we saved you though. We saved you, keep moving, keep moving, it's 42 to 40, we can actually make a comeback here. Especially with no annoying chompers in the way. All right, move it, move it, move it. Try to get somebody here. Uh, this chomper is back here, problems, problems, problems. He's gonna try to go for the imp. I'm gonna lay on the damage as soon as I can. Reloading is not so great right now. Okay, so are we gonna win? It's 45 to 45, it's all tied up. And we have a much larger team, we better win this. If we lose, I'm gonna be embarrassed. Oh boy, get rid of that. It is very good at removing drones, that's for sure. I mean, I think a lot of soldiers are really useful in uh, turf takeover. I think the soldiers can be helpful in Team Vanquish, but it can sometimes be a little too crowded for them. Like, most soldiers benefit way more from mid-range to long-range than they do close range at all. But that's what the ZPG is sort of for. I feel like in some cases, and of course to you know get turreted enemies. But it looks like we're about to win. If we can get one more vanquish, does anyone dare pop their head into this center area when the zombies are controlling it, obviously, right now? 
Okay, hop up like that, and then boom! Can I get the final vanquish? I missed. Oh, I sort of kind of got it. It was shared with the engineer, but I don't mind. Sharing is caring. Our number two soldier is the base foot soldier. And my number one most favorite soldier is the General Supremo. Longtime viewers will probably saw this coming a mile away. I love this variant so much. I feel like some people might not know me so well, so well and are just randomly passing by this video are like, really? The General Supremo? But I love him. If you guys don't know, the big thing about General Supremo is he's very similar to the base soldier, but he has no reloading required. Instead, he will overheat, sort of similar to, I guess, uh, what what overheats? Like the beam to the Citron or the beam to the Super Brains, he will overheat. So you have to manage it and really that's not too bad. You end up still shooting in general a lot more than you would for a soldier still. So if you manage it and you just are able to balance it all, the damage is good, the fire is good. It's just overall I feel like a well balanced and because of it you're just constantly shooting. You don't really have to reload too much. You don't really need to be caught up in a situation where it's like, oh gosh, a rose just popped up right in front of my face and I only have five ammo. I can either waste the five ammo and not do enough to do damage to her and still have to respawn or, or reload and everything, you know? It just, it works out so much better. And also the first time I played this variant, I got like my first ever four or five vanquish streak back in Garden Warfare 1. I was still very new to the game and it was super exhilarating. And you know what's even cooler about it? It was on this map in Garden Warfare 1. It's a lot of fun. There have been so many soldier players now. Let's go ahead and try to destroy some of those potato mines. That'll make it a little bit easier for everybody. But yeah, the General Supremo, I love him so much. He's a really fun variant. If not the most effective, he's definitely one of the most enjoyable. His damage is a tiny bit low, but I think it's just fine. You know, like I just think that maybe I'm heavily biased, but I, I do enjoy the idea that you just don't have to reload with him. I think that makes it pretty effective. Um, health upgrade's getting out of here. We could do an overheat penalty upgrade, but I don't plan on overheating too much. Uh, so we could just go ahead and do a zoom upgrade, better than nothing, right? Yeah, we'll do that. But yeah, overheat penalty upgrades, I've never been a big fan of because I just won't overheat then, you know? I'll just play strategically and try to stop shooting right when I need to because it's always going to be less, is she, is she just gonna stand there? Is she glitched? I think she's, I think she's lagged out. Everybody's like, what the heck's going on with her? Okay, <laughs> even the enemies are, I'm out, even the plants are like, what's going on with her? <laughs> that was weird. I don't know. All right, well, let's make our way over those. Catch her with that rose. That rose ain't getting away from me. Not this General Supremo. Oh boy. It does have a little bit more of a spread, I think, than the base soldier. So it is a tiny bit more of a close range thing. But I feel like it's just a little more prepared for that because of the, the reloading issue. You can sort of go in there and not have to worry about that risk. And you can really hear with the audio cues when it's about to overheat, which I think is nice. Oh boy. Try to get you a little bit. My aim is awful today, I've just been playing badly, but I really do enjoy this character. I think he looks pretty cool too. Not as cool looking, like if this once again was a fashion contest, I think that, uh, I think that the Park Ranger would win, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. So what were my other zombies, like if I had to go from six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, it's hard to say. I think six, going into number six would probably be there's, oh, there's so many soldiers, it's really hard to say. That's why I like keeping it to top five. Oh, see ya, <laughs> that was great. But I would say probably number six would probably be a super commando. Number seven would be the Arctic shooter, or the Arctic, you know what I'm, the Arctic dude, frozen soldier. Uh, number eight would be the, the fire soldier. Not really very good with that character, but I do appreciate a fire soldier. Number nine, would be, who am I missing out on? I know there's a tank commando and scuba soldier, but I think there's one more soldier beyond that. Maybe not, maybe not, maybe those are the last two. And if that's the case, then number nine would be the tank commando and number 10 would be the scuba soldier. I just really do not like how the scuba soldier plays. Never have, probably never will. I know there's a lot of people who are big fans of them. Actually, maybe I'd put scuba soldier over tank commando. Hard to say. Hard to say indeed. Go ahead and get rid of you. Uh, or fall, because that's just me being bad. Me being awful. I'm very, very awful. Oh, come on. All right, well, I finally overloaded just because of my awful aim, but I still got you. Yeah, that was satisfying. I might die from to toxic, or I might just remain with one health. Please don't, please don't. I know you're gonna come around the corner. Please, gosh darn it. Oh, well. <laughs> I tried, I tried my best, right? Okay, so. We'll just try to jam out with the rest of this round. And like I said, it's just my thoughts and opinions. You would definitely 
you know, allowed to disagree. I would love to hear your, you know, top five and everything. But keep it civil, keep it nice. No need to be mean to yourself or to me or to anybody about what your top five soldiers are. So I wanna hear all about it. And stay tuned, because I do plan on working really hard to get more char characters mastered, to get more top fives done. I think that our next top five will be the top five cacti, so that'll be a lot of fun. If you guys don't know, you can check out the playlist for all the top five characters I've done. Um, so far we've done top five uh, Sunflower, Colonel Corn, and uh, imps, those are the three we've done so far and we'll be doing all the rest of them. Well, all the rest of them that actually have five variants. Are you just gonna chill out? Because, you know, we could still vanquish you. Oh gosh, we're actually about to lose out. Will we lose? Oh no, this will be the first game we lost, no we won. Okay, we don't even have to worry about it. So, out of the top five soldiers, my most favorite soldier of all time is the General Supremo. So there was our look at my top five soldiers and plans for zombies at Garden Warfare 2. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and like I said throughout today's video, make sure you let me know what your top five soldiers are. I wanna hear all about your favorite soldiers, all that kind of stuff, and let me know which top fives you might wanna see next. Right now, currently the plan is to do top five cacti, but maybe we'll change that plan if a lot of people wanna see me do a specific top five. But for now, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plans for Zombies Garden Warfare 2. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Z Zebra Soldier, so now you've watched the end that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.